Now, the good news is that the winds aren't as violent as they were yesterday in Chicago, but it's still pretty darn cold to be expected, I guess, for December football at Soldier Field. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Dallas Cowboys and the Chicago Bears. Taken about seven yards deep, and he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. Throwing here on first down. Got a man open. It's Tyler Higby. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An early statement on the game's first play. 18 yards and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Open man. He completes it to Judy. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Pretty good start there on plays one and two. And not discriminating at all, is he? Make sure he's spreading it around on the first two throws of the game. Two different parts of the field as well. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. And nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. It's a four-yard pickup, and just like that, it's third down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Flushed out right. He may try and run for this. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD. Got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. And ultimately, this won't go for much, maybe a couple, but boy, he showed off that make-you-miss ability that certainly is in his arsenal. Brings up second and eight at the 30-yard line. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. He was all over that route defensively. Now, they had two picks last week as a unit. Couldn't quite grab that one. Patience, Grasshopper. Patience. <laughs> early in this game, but you like the fact that they're around the football early. They're going to be upset they didn't haul that one in. But at least they're there at the moment of truth to make a play on it. By the way, where did the Grasshopper thing come from? I know it's been around for a long time. Yeah, you know, I'll have to tell you that some other time. All right, right. Back to football.
Now McManus will line up for the field goal. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. The kick by McManus is good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. First and ten, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. And this first play will get him back to the 25, but that's going to be in. The corner, Stephon Gilmore on the stop. You don't see that a ton, do you? The cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball is moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down for the Bears, a gain of 15. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. And again this time to the tailback. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. You know what they say? Those guys on the other side, they get paid too. Now they'll run it on the toss. They'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Mayfield to throw it. Being chased out left. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. He'll field this at the five. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and ten. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and ten. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. 
That's going to be caught by Judy. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off down at the ten. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. Intercepted. The Bears take over first and ten at their own 21-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Second and seven. Mayfield now into double coverage and it's intercepted picked off by Jordan Poyer and his guys will take over at the 25 yard line unfortunately for him if last week was any indication we knew a pick was coming at some point last week it was interception after interception and here we go again we actually quit counting last <laughs> week at a certain point because I thought I was going to run out of fingers all right because I'm not all that skilled as a mathematician but you're right it felt like a matter of time and you got to think the guys on defense they couldn't wait for this opportunity after what they saw on tape give them three on first down it'll set up a second and seven at the 22-yard line. They'll look to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Forced out to his left. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off down near the five, and he is all the way up past the 25. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting negative or otherwise and turn it into positives moving forward they'll start out on the ground with bell they'll only get a couple up to about the 30. well any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage they used great leverage held their spot and stacked him up and this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. And that's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary. Figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two at the Cowboys' 39-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? And he 
Sherman's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Mayfield off the play fake. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Bell. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. 20-yard line. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Mayfield throwing the out route incomplete. It's Shepard. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Anthony Sherman, his first touchdown on the year. And the Bears have taken the lead. Well, they weren't messing around. First and goal, they don't do anything fancy. They just go to the fullback right away. I like how you phrase that because oftentimes they come back to the fullback when it's late in the down and distance count, right? In this case, first down, let's go get it right now. And he got it. Six points on the board. Mitch Wisnowski set to kick off. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can kind of have a short-term memory, but that's easier said than done. It is easier said than done, but I played with a guy who threw two interceptions in the first quarter of a really big game we were playing. Johnny United. And no, not, not quite of that level and not of that age. But I remember I was looking, going for the age. Bro. I remember looking over at him and he was smiling. And I thought, what is he smiling about? It's because he had enough confidence in himself that you know, that was a fluke. And he went out and played pretty well the rest of the day. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by James Bradbury. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. Boy, so another interception, CD, and it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. Following the interception, Mayfield. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Normally, you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. A second down throw for Mayfield. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. 20, 10, touchdown, Chicago. Hunter Renfro. His second touchdown on the season. And the Bears are able to show off their quick strike ability. 
As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts. All right, because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in Big Sky Country. There aren't any speed limits out there, and off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. set to kick off. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you have your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. But that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Barry on to punt as he gets this one away. And they call it 38 yards on the punt. No return. And the Bears take over. Three-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. You've got under a minute to go here until halftime. you got the good size lead. No need to do anything crazy. No, there really is no need to do anything crazy. The smart play, go ahead and take your lead into the locker room and then try to add to it in the second half. But there's a part of me that looks at this and says, first half going my way, I have a little bit of a cushion. Let's go ahead and try and extend things. If you've got some good plays drawn up, you might want to think about them right here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, Mayfield. He's going deep for Brown. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Kevin King with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you want to call it, and move on. He hasn't been able to do so here in the second. Looking left side, and it's complete. He's at the 40, past the 20, touchdown, Cowboys. A big play there as the first half is winding down. And the Cowboys are able to show off their quick strike ability. Brandon McManus lining up. A nice the throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play you would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. 
And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout signal for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Second and three. from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Mayfield looks to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, all right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turned that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. Now the pass landing its way into the hands of Eric Ebron. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. Now throwing on first down and completing it. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. A run by Bell on first down, going to go nowhere as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. On second and 11 now, Mayfield, a screen to Bell. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. And that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize that it's broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off. And Mayfield again with the interception, his third. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And this one will be brought back to the 22. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll let this go deep for Bourne. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Kendrick Bourne, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat. And if he flushes out, they're fine with that. And they force another incompletion. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 
It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. First well, that down. certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Kevin Byard, and they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Ebron caught left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Kevin King coming up from the secondary to make the play. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays and stay with the overall essence of the running game. Another, Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Dylan Cole. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line at their own 48-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. And he'll give it here to his running back. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. That's why the guy with the headsets is down there. All right, they know what they're doing because they got stuffed on a running play on first down. And I think myself and probably the fans were saying throw the football in this situation. But he knew what he was doing, called another run, and now they've got third and short. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. 
The Cowboys on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and three. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This is caught. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So and he'll take it into the end zone for the Cowboy touchdown. A great play there double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season and the Cowboys have retaken the lead he's got it and this is indeed up to a three-point lead Cowboys 17 Bears 14 Brandon McManus set to kick off after the touchdown here's McManus now to kick it away And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Not much there, only a yard at the 26-yard line. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now Mayfield. The open man here, Renfro. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Now a first down carry by Bell. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Bell, the ball. Micah Kaiser was in on the tackle. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And he gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. To throw Mayfield. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. 
Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Throwing again. Mayfield on second and ten. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 28. And now look at him go. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Brandon so they were in field goal range, chance to go to overtime, got greedy going for the win. Do you think maybe on the sideline they felt compelled to go for that win? Sometimes that's what happens because as a head coach, you have to take the pulse of your team. You have to know where you are and how they're feeling. And maybe he thought, we've got to win it right now. Overtime, we, we, we might not have anything left for that. So maybe that's why they went for it and pressed it. And unfortunately, it backfired. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At their own 19-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you... And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. What a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it, but it just tells you about the game of football. It giveth and it taketh away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six interceptions in a game, the likes of Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, I think Joe Namath, he did it three times. And this carry, despite the good move, will be stopped short of the 10. MJ Stewart made the tackle from his corner spot. But that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Third down. for the first time with a backup Murray. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Brandon McManus on for the field goal. A 26-yard attempt. And McManus able to put it through. And that will stretch the lead up to 13. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. At their own 25-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, 
And just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. First and 10 at the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Mayfield. Now Mayfield lost the football. Baker Mayfield sacked. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. Well, this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Throwing Mayfield. Quick slant to Brown. That's a gain of 13 as they try to whittle away at this 13-point deficit. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys and you've got to say CD it was the defense who had a big part in the W but without question when you force four turnovers you get to enjoy the spoils of victory don't you it's rare that you force four turnovers and lose a ball game that's almost unheard of they carried this one home he talked about celebrating with each other and being in a position where going forward all you think about is let's get five next time they're gonna be on the hunt so for the Cowboys, their very slim playoff hopes were.